email 31, I had a question on section 5.4, number 5, and we were being asked to use long division and figure out this quotient and its remainder. So when you're asked to do long division, take this, what would have been the numerator, put it in the radicand, and then take this denominator, which is x plus 7 here, and put it as the divisor. And I say numerator and denominator because if I were to rewrite this, this would be 3x, oops, that's squared, plus 23x plus 14, that is a weird looking 14, over, if I change to orange, x plus 7. All right, and then once you're here, what always drives this long division are the lead terms. And really the lead terms in any polynomials are what's driving the car, if you will. So I started to think, what do I need to multiply x by to get up? to 3x squared. And if I want to get from x to 3x squared using multiplication, I would need to multiply x by 3x. So that's why you see that hanging out in my, my answer bar there. And then from long division, you always take whatever is here, multiply it into your divisor. Now I have to distribute that. So 3x times x plus 7 is 3x squared plus 21x. But the thing is, when you work long division, whatever that product winds up being, you need to subtract it. So I need to distribute that negative sign to the 3x squared and the 21x. So that really becomes minus 3x squared minus 21x. These cancel by design. And then 23 minus 21 is 2. And then the process starts over again. So let me repeat this. Then we look, what do I need to multiply x by to get to 2x now? And the answer is if I want to get from x to 2x, I need to multiply by 2. And then I will take this number and multiply it against my divisor. I'm going to make sure I FOIL. So 2 times x plus 7 is 2x plus 14. But again, oh, as I look here, it looks like I have, oh, no, I'm not saying a typo. Sorry. Here's the next line. I can read my own work. I have to remember to subtract that product, and I need to distribute the negative to the 2x and to the 14. So 2x minus 2x, those cancel, again, by design. And then 14 minus 14 actually turns out to be 0. So that is my remainder. And I I'd, I'd happen to divide evenly here. A lot of times when you, you do these quotients and use long division, you won't see a remainder of 0. But since it's exactly 0, then that tells me, let me change colors again, that my, my quotient is 3x plus 2. So that's where I'm getting the 3x plus 2. All right, thanks so much. Bye.